Welcome back to Viral Ed, YouTube's number one educative channel for teachers and students of all ages. We use animated videos to make learning fun and interesting for students. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos in the future. Let's get right into it. Today we are looking at basic algebra and how to solve simple equations. But first, what is algebra? Algebra is a branch of mathematics that substitutes letters for numbers. Unfortunately, many textbooks go straight to the rules, procedures and formulas, forgetting that there are real life problems being solved and skipping the explanation of algebra at its core. Which is using symbols to represent variables and missing factors in equations and manipulating them in such a way to arrive at a solution. So there's three steps to solving algebra. Step one, expand. Step two, collect like terms and step three, inverse operations. So if we look at an example, two bracket x plus one bracket plus four x equals 14. Now we have an unknown in this equation, and that is x. So what we need to do is using the three steps provided prior is to solve for x so that the equation on the left equals 14. Step one, expand. Before we can do anything, we need to expand the brackets. As you can see, the two is in front of the brackets, so we need to multiply everything inside the brackets by two. So two times x, which equals two x, and two times one, which equals two. So what we are left with after expanding is two x plus two, which has come from expanding the brackets, plus four x, which was already in the equation before, equals 14. After we have expanded the equation, we now need to move to step two, which is collecting like terms. Now a like term is two terms that are the same. For example, if you had two bananas and one apple, these aren't like terms, but if you swap the apple for a banana, you can plus them together and you're left with three bananas. The same applies with algebra. In the equation, we have two x and plus four x. Because these like terms are both positive values, we are able to plus the two together. However, if 4x was 4y, we wouldn't be able to collect the like terms as they are different. This means we are now left with 6x plus 2 equals 14. Don't worry, we still have one more step left to solve this equation. So step three is inverse operations or opposite operations. As you can see, we have minus two from the left side of the equation. This is because the inverse operation of positive 2 or plus 2 is take 2. And whatever happens to the left side, you must, I repeat, must do to the right side. So this leaves you with 6x equals 12. Now we must do another inverse operation to get the x value by itself. The inverse of multiplying, because what we are left with is technically 6 times x, is divide. So we divide the left by 6 and the right by 6. The two 6s cancel out, so we're left with x on the left. 6 goes into 12 two times, so we are left with 2 on the right side. This means that x equals 2. Okay, let's look at another example which is a little bit harder. So we've got 3 bracket x take 1 bracket plus 2 bracket x plus 6 bracket equals 24. Let's quickly recap the three steps again. So step one, expand. We need to expand the brackets so we can see only exactly what we are working with. Step two, collecting like terms. We need to collect everything that is the same to make the equation more simplistic. And step three, inverse operations. We need to isolate the x by itself to work out its value. If we go back to the equation now, on the first bracket, we know we need to times everything inside by three. So we're left with three x take three. However, unlike the other problem, we have two sets of brackets. So we need to do the same thing again. We notice the two is outside the brackets, so everything inside uh, needs to be multiplied by two, which leaves us with two x plus 12. And now our equation reads three x take three plus two x plus 12 equals 24. Now we've expanded the brackets, we can move on to collecting like terms. 3x and 2x are both positive values and are like terms, so we can add these two together, which equals 5x. 
Now, minus 3 or negative 3 and positive 12 are like terms, so we can add them two together. So negative 3 plus 12 equals 9. So we are now left with 5x plus 9 equals 24. The last step now, we can take 9 from both sides as it is the inverse operation to positive 9. This leaves us with 5x equals 15. And then the inverse, of op inverse operation of times 5 is divide by 5. So we divide both sides by 5 and we are left with x equals 3, which is our final answer. An important rule when looking at basic algebra is to always do what you do to one side, you do to the other. And also to start with the furthest number from the unknown value, which in this, in this case, the furthest number from the unknown value, which is x, is the 9. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button below, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos, and hit the bell notification so you are notified straight away when the next video is released. The next mathematics video will explain how to solve more advanced algebra and also talk about real life users for algebra, so don't miss out on that. Thanks again for watching.